Okay, Larry's gonna come up here. Larry Houdima, he's got a, a story to tell you. How this uh, story evolved was uh, there was a bunch of us hanging out at the, at the bar. And, uh, and Johnson's not all the time. No, we're doing no, it. What, five nights out of six? <laughs> anyway, uh, some of us were practicing music, others were just sort of hanging out. And uh, Dave, uh, they've just done a song. Didn't you just do a song? And you thought you should get a halo for that? A halo? I don't remember how. He that thought he earned a halo. I, I, but a couple of us came up with the idea that the best he could do was a second-hand halo. Oh, yeah. From a used halo. Second-hand halo. Our lives collided in the Salvation Army thrift store in New Westminster, the one just up from the submarine. <laughs> It was a dreary day, raining, and we bumped into each other in the used halo aisle. I don't know exactly why I was there. I'd never been in the market for one. I think I might have been passing through looking for a waterproof hat. She backed into me as she was trying one on and checking it in the mirror. A, a halo, I mean. How does it look? She asked as our eyes met. Like it was meant to be there. I replied. And read it, I meant it. She was an angel in waiting. We went for coffee. She with the halo just suspended there, causing people to stare like there was something special about her. We moved in together the next week. It was the 70s, and life had that kind of abbreviated feel to it. All was bliss for a couple of days. Then, like a semi-shifting gear as it approaches a mean decline, it went down a notch. We disagreed over the pasta sauce. I preferred the garlic, and she the plain tomato. <laughs> For a second, as she hissed her dissatisfaction, I was sure the halo had lost a little of its shine. That was the start of our descent. We would spend entire mornings when each would barely acknowledge the presence of the other. Some days she'd be pantherine waiting to pounce on my slightest annoyance. Devouring it with acidic wit or a drooling snap. Those days, she'd left the halo hanging somewhere, in the bathroom perhaps, after washing her hair or whatever, or maybe just drooped over the post of the bed. She used to sleep with it, but before too long, she took to removing it, like a, like a dirty hairnet, draping it haphazardly over whatever was available. One morning, I got up and, and all her stuff was gone. And she left a note that said, gone. That was it, just gone. Nothing else. She'd taken all her stuff, except the halo. There it was, lying on the table. That morning after breakfast, I put the halo in a paper bag, took it to the thrift store, and dropped it in the bin outside. It never fit me anyway.
on the way out. Make sure you throw some money in that box there to support local musicians. We're going out on the road, and we'll see you all first Friday next month.